Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for coming by again today. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping here today. Anyway, today we are going to make another gnome, which is a be gnome it's a requested one but anyway if you don't know me i am shasha sj i love to craft anything from the dollar tree walmart goodwill and anything that can be recycled and i also love jewelry all right before we get started i want to show you something one of my finds this bracelet this is vintage one and i don't know the name there's no stamp on it but it is beautiful there you go, and it is pretty. I really, really love it. Super cute, and I have another one. I will show you this one. This is a quartz watch. Look how blingy that is. Super, super sparkly. Look at that beautiful watch, okay? There you go and super pretty anyway let's get started with our new diy of today and let's go okay you may wonder what is going on here there's a lot inside we are going to make bee gnome bee gnome <laughs> and um of course, we are going to need a color yellow because they usually have some yellow. And it is a felt. You can use a lace if you can't find a felt, but felt is cheaper because you can just buy them at Walmart for 88 cents. And fillers. If you don't have this fillers, you can always go to Goodwill and get some pillows in there. And then when you get home, wash it before you use it, okay? And you can recycle them as your fillers of one of your gnomes that you are going to create. Next is, yes, wax paper. You will know why we need this one in a few, okay? So let's put that aside. Faux fur. All right, you can get this one as well at Walmart. And there's always an alternative on if you don't have, or if you can't find any fur. I always have an alternative beard that you can use for a gnome. And it's usually on my gnome series. I have a gnome series down at the description down below, so check them out. And a yarn, a scissors, socks we are going to use a sock i got this from the dollar tree and they have usually a pair of this in there that they have two pairs in there and of course we are going to use this aromatherapy this is so calming and lavender scented this is like the scented one and we are going to use this to make something smelly okay and a pipe cleaner gnome's nose it's a ball you can get this one at the amazon and if you can't find anything something like this i also have some alternative that you can make something and it should be on the description down below for my gnome series a rock if you can't find this one so we are going to use the lavender for today since we are not going to use a rock i like to choose rock because sometimes it depends on what location you live rice is everybody's using but i prefer not to use rice because you know it might be something you know what i mean so we are going to use the rock or this one, okay? A sparkle mesh. I got this one from the Dollar Tree. And this one. You can also get this one at the Dollar Tree as well. By the flower area, I think. They hang this one up in there and I was like, I needed one. All right, so that's it. 
All right, so I always forgot, as you know, I always forget to mention the last one is the glue gun. Please don't forget to preheat them and you are going to need that. And this one first is we are going to grab our sock. All right, so first we are going to fill this up with this scented lavender. We are gonna make this one scented one because honestly guys, I love lavender. I used to have a hard time sleeping at night, especially when it is kind of late. I have a insomnia so when you have insomnia and if you have like lavender scent in your room that could help you sleep so here you go you just have to fill this up I like to use this one like so like almost halfway possibly there you go that could be perfect Mmm, smells so good in here already. Anyway, there you go. There is my gnome's body. And it's almost like, like that, that size. And I use half of it, half of the jar. And the room smells so good already. All right, next you're going to grab your filler and you just have to fill this up. It depends on what size of a body of known that you want. So out, I am going to figure out how big is my gnomes gonna be. So stay with me, okay? And there you go. I think I found the right size that I want and I think it is one, two, three, four, five, six, six inches. So I think I'm just going to stay on this size. And instead of using a yarn, I think I'm just going to tie it down since it's a little bit long here in this end. And I'm just going to tie it down just like so. And you can cut it if you want think I'm just gonna leave it like that okay and let's just put this one aside all right so next we are going to grab the other pair of the sock and what I want is in this area is I like to cut this other side which is by the heel and you can see the difference this one and this one and I'm just gonna cut it down like so And you can keep this one for your gnome's arm, okay? All right, so next we are going to cut this in a slant position, just like so. But first you have to cut this area here by the heel where your heel is. You are going to cut it in a straight line, just like these, just straight, okay? And then cut it slant slant one where where there is a line of your sock right there that's how you cut the angle like a triangular way okay so now we have a triangular position of our gnome's hat okay so next what we are going to do is we are going to make the sock the right side is facing towards us, okay? See how look good that is? It's like a triangular way. And you can stretch it if you want to. And next is you are going to grab your felt. And since this one is already cut, we are going to cut this one in a half inch, okay?
All right, so here are the strips of yellow that we just cut. And what we are going to do with the length of your felt that you cut, since we cut it this way, this is super perfect to fit on that size of sock for the head. So you are going to make sure when you glue this, you have to stretch this one like so that it will make sure it fits on that hat of that gnome. Okay, so you just have to stretch it. And then you start gluing. And make sure you leave an excess down here on the end. Okay, so it is when you glue this together, it's safe as well. At least a little end to the other end. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to start gluing now. So stay with me, okay? Alright, so now since it is done, we are now going to close this sock like this and you just have to connect this end to the other end like so, so they are even, okay? Just end to end. Alright, so since it is closed, we are going to cut the excess here. Alright, and all you have to do, just let it settle down. Because once you open it too early, the glue won't be able to glue together. And it will leave like a, you know, how it looks. <laughs> and you don't want it, okay? The next we are going to work on is our gnome's arm. So what I do is I just cut them in half like so. All right, so there is the left and there is the right. Next we are going to grab our gnome's yellow felt one, the colored yellow felt. We are going to create this like a little hand. I'm just going to cut this into an angle of slanting like so and it doesn't need to be perfect and you just start gluing them you can trace this one so you have the same size of arm and then you just have to start cutting them and this is a one and three fourth inch you can always cut them in two inches because anyway, it's going to be adjusted in a way when you tuck this into the arm. Because this is going to be the hand, pretend hand of our gnome. And then you are going to glue this together. There you go. There is our gnome's gloves. Next is we are going to put this in here and I like to make it a little bit of rolling in there so it looks like a fancy looking sleeve. You know how it looks when the sleeve is super super cute. You can just like roll it and keep on rolling. Okay so first I'm going to create something here that everything is just going to be clean okay. just going to tuck this in here and glue it and roll it like that so how cool that is when there's a little bit of stretchy in there so it looks like a somehow pretty okay and I'm going to do this two arms of this gnome okay so stay with me Thank you. 
There you go. There is our gnome's arms. It is ready. Okay, so now let's grab our hat. Let's turn this one inside out. All right, so I have these little pom-poms. I want to add this one at the top of our gnome's hat. And just dab it in there. There you go, there is our gnome's hat. Super, super cute. And I like to feel the top as well of a filler. All right, so next what we are going to do is we are going to grab our faux beard. All right, so next I'm going to put the gnome's hat. I'm going to glue this nose. And now I can tuck in the arm. Make sure when you tuck in the arms, this one in here should be close to the body, okay? Look at that, and we are almost done. Anyway, I got this one from the Dollar Tree as well, the sunflower ones, and I'm going to use this one to pretend that this bumblebee or this bee is using or holding a flower. Next, we are going to make our bee a wings, all right? All right, so next what we are going to make is the wings. So I have this pipe cleaner one from Christmas and we are going to use four of these. And I am just going to make this one wings on the top like so and just close it. Like that. And the other end should be smaller than the other. Just like so. And I like to secure it together. There you go. So now there is the other half of our wings. And we are going to make this same way. So we just have to trace it like so. And there is our wings. All right, so next we're going to grab is our wax paper. I like to use a wax paper, guys, for this particular reason because I want to protect my mat from the glue and then the item is not sticking in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my sparkle mesh. This is super perfect because it's also glittered as well. So I'm just going to use this. And I'm going to do it like so on the other side. Okay, glue this like this. And now I am just going to cut this like this. And I'm just going to follow the line where it is glued.
All right, so next other hand, if you make a smaller one, it's perfect size, but what, I'm, what I did right now, this is the most tricky one because as you can see, the wings are separated. So what I wanna do is I want to cut an, an inch down here and another inch down here where it's just going to hold the area for the wings. And I'm just going to follow this one again. All right, so with this excess flap down here, that's where you glue the other wings down there, okay? All right, so all you have to do is just trim it down like so just the one that's flopping in there and if you don't like the look of the glue that is showing on the back you can always grab your other pipe and you can just cover them on the other side like what I'm gonna do right now so they are more clean cut and there you go it is done super 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 cute and pretty and all you have to do is you can just like kind of bend it a little bit like so to work on it and put a glue in the middle so it holds it like you squeeze it down like so so you kind of like want to work it out like that And you just have to wait until they are ready. And we can put this one at the back of our gnome's wings. All right, so there you go. There is our wings, super pretty and perfect. And all we have to do is just take our gnome and we just have to glue that at the back. And we have our gnome's wings because he's a bee it's a bee all right so let's just glue this in here put some glue and attach this at the back of our gnome because it's a bee gnome all right look at that super super cute and I'm going to show you the other one that I made. Here's the other one. Super cute. He's also holding a flower. And the hat that this bee gnome is also from the Dollar Tree. It is that little fuzzy sock during Christmas once <laughs> and I don't like throwing my sock away from my project so I recycle them and there you go and this one has a gold wings and i just want to leave it like that because it's super super cute and there you go i'm going to show you guys the closer look of our bee gnome today and thank you guys for watching shasha sj if you have any questions of our project or diy that we've made today leave a comment down below and please don't forget to subscribe. That would be very, very helpful for me. And thank you guys again for watching Shasha SJ. Come back next time. You have an awesome day. Bye.